Welcome back to AS Automotive's Reviews, the ultimate destination for raw power, cutting-edge engineering, and the thrill of machines that push the limits. Today, we're diving deep into the apex predator of the motorcycle world, a machine that doesn't just break speed records, it obliterates them. This is not just a bike, it's a force of nature. Welcome to the untamed world of the Kawasaki Ninja H2R. Now, let's get one thing straight, the H2R is not built for your daily commute or weekend coffee runs. This is a track-only beast. Born in a wind tunnel, forged in Kawasaki's aerospace division, and sharpened with supercharged precision. It's not street legal for a reason, because the streets simply can't handle it. The first thing you notice before you even fire up the engine is the design. It looks like it's doing 300 km per hour just standing still. Every line, every panel, every aerodynamic fin screams purpose. The carbon fiber wings aren't just for show. They generate real downforce to keep the front wheel planted when you twist that throttle wide open. And trust me, you're going to want that grip when the power kicks in. Speaking of power, let's talk numbers. This isn't your average leader bike. The H2R packs a 998cc inline-4 engine, but here's the twist, it's supercharged. And not just any supercharger. We're talking about a centrifugal type, planetary gear-driven blower that spins up to 130,000 revolutions per minute. The result, a staggering 310 horsepower, and 326 with ram air. That makes the H2R the most powerful production motorcycle in the world. Let that sink in for a second. To put that in perspective, we're talking about Formula 1 level power to weight ratios, in a package that weighs just 216 kilograms. Twist the throttle, and you're catapulted from 0 to 100 in under 2.5 seconds. Keep going, and the H2R will hit 400 kilometers per hour, that's 249 miles per hour, if you have enough runway, and even more guts. But power is nothing without control, and Kawasaki knows that. The H2R is packed with cutting-edge electronics to keep this missile on rails. You get Kawasaki's Intelligent Anti-Lock Brake System KIBS, Kawasaki Traction Control KTRC, Kawasaki Launch Control Mode KLCM, and a full ride-by-wire throttle. There's also engine brake control and an electronic steering damper from Olin's. All of it working seamlessly in the background, allowing you to tame this wild beast without ever feeling like it's holding you back. The frame is a steel trellis design, lightweight, rigid, and designed to handle the immense power while maintaining agility. The swing arm is a single-sided unit, which not only looks phenomenal but allows for easier wheel changes, important on a track weapon like this. The suspension is high-end KYB, fully adjustable front and rear, and built to take serious punishment while keeping you in control. Braking is equally fierce, up front, You've got dual 330mm discs clamped by Brembo-style McCalipers, the best in the business. Rear braking comes from a 250mm disc, and the feedback through the lever is precise, sharp, and confidence-inspiring. When you're pushing 300 plus km per hour on a straight and need to scrub off speed before a hard corner, these brakes deliver. The cockpit is a pilot's seat. You sit low, aggressive, and forward, hugging the tank, eyes locked on the horizon. The TFT display is crisp and customizable, offering all the data you need, from lean angles and G-forces to lap times and gear position. Even the startup animation feels like booting up a fighter jet. Because that's what this is, a two-wheeled fighter jet. And the sound, oh, the sound. If you've ever heard a Ninja H2R scream down a straight, you'll know what I mean. It's not a growl, it's not a roar, it's a mechanical scream of pure rage. The kind of sound that sends shivers down your spine and makes everyone stop and stare. There's nothing else like it in the world of motorcycles. But the H2R is more than just numbers and noise. It's an engineering statement. Kawasaki pulled technology from its aerospace division, including heat-resistant coatings, exotic alloys, and computational fluid dynamics, all to create a motorcycle that could stand alone, above the rest. This isn't just a machine, it's a demonstration of what happens when engineers are told not to hold back. And while it's not road legal, the H2R's influence stretches far beyond the track. Its technology has trickled down into the H2 and H2SX road-going variants. It's a halo bike, meant to inspire, to showcase, to push boundaries. And it does that job spectacularly. Now let's talk price, and exclusivity. The H2R isn't mass-produced. It's hand-built in limited numbers, with meticulous attention to detail. 
each one costs upward of $55,000 USD, depending on the region, and that's before taxes, transport, or track prep. But what you get isn't just a bike, it's an experience, a collector's item, a legend in motion. So who is the H2R really for? It's not for beginners. It's not even for average riders. This is for the few who crave the absolute bleeding edge, for those who understand that this bike is more than a machine, it's a weapon of precision, power, and purpose. It's for track junkies, collectors, and adrenaline chasers who respect what it means to wield this kind of performance. And let's be honest, the Kawasaki Ninja H2R isn't just a motorcycle you ride. It's a motorcycle you survive. Every twist of the throttle is a test of nerve. Every corner is a lesson in physics. It demands skill, respect, and focus. But in return, it delivers something very few machines on this planet can, true, unfiltered, unrelenting speed. It's also a reminder of what's possible when a manufacturer ignores the rulebook and dares to build something outrageous. Something that doesn't care about emissions, noise regulations, or practicality. The H2R exists in a realm where limits are pushed, where rules are broken, and where engineering becomes an art form. In an era where the motorcycle industry is increasingly governed by safety nets and sustainability, the H2R is a fire-breathing anomaly, a relic of pure performance and mechanical ambition. And that's what makes it so special. So, is it worth it? Absolutely, if you're the kind of person who looks at speed not as a number, but as a calling. The H2R is not for the faint-hearted. It's not about commuting, it's about conquering, about unleashing a level of power so intense, so refined, it becomes addictive. At AS Automotive's reviews, we've tested some of the world's most advanced machines. But few have left an impact quite like this one. The Kawasaki Ninja H2R isn't just a superbike, it's a masterpiece of engineering. A testament to what can happen when a brand sets out to build the fastest, most powerful production bike in history, and actually delivers. If you ever get the chance to see one in person, or, even better, hear one, you'll know. The H2R isn't just a motorcycle. It's a moment, a moment when everything blurs, the road, the wind, the sound, and all that exists is speed. That's it for today's review. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world's most extreme motorcycle, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more insane automotive content, and drop your thoughts in the comments, would you dare to ride the H2R? Until next time, this is AS Automotive's Reviews, where speed meets soul.